Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to see machine learning based health prediction system using IBM Cloud as platform as a service. Introduction. The project aims to create a machine learning based health prediction system using IBM Cloud as a platform as a service solution. The system uses advanced algorithms like support vector machine, K nearest neighbor, decision tree, naive base and ensemble for health condition prediction. Due to cost constraints, a dummy cloud setup is used. The system processes vital data from mobile devices and alerts medical professionals if abnormalities are detected. Object of the project The goal of this project is to use machine learning algorithms in a setting akin to the IBM cloud to automatically detect health conditions. The system aims to accurately predict health conditions by uploading and pre-processing patient vitals, training various algorithms and assessing their performance. The goal is to bridge the technology and healthcare gaps by developing a reliable, affordable method of early detection and notification. Requirements These are the requirements needed to execute this project. Hardware requirements Operating system of Windows Processor of i5 and above RAM of 4 GB and above Hard disk of 20 GB and above Software requirements needed are Python IDL of Python 3.7 version These are the algorithms used in this project. The first algorithm is Support Vector Machine SVM. SVM is employed for its ability to classify patient conditions by finding optimal hyperplanes. It is suitable for non-linear data, contributing to accurate health predictions by discerning intricate patterns within the vital data. The next algorithm is K-Nearest Neighbors. KNN simplicity and instance-based learning enable proximity-based classification. It aids in identifying patients with similar vitals, enhancing condition prediction accuracy through collective neighborhood insights. The third algorithm used is decision tree. Decision tree's hierarchical structure provides interpretability and decision paths for health condition prediction. It excels in capturing feature interactions and guiding informed clinical decisions based on patient attributes. The next algorithm is naive base. Naive base leverages probabilistic independence assumptions for efficient health condition classification. Its fast computation and modest data requirements make it suitable for early stage predictions and resource constrained environments. The next algorithm is Ensemble algorithm. Ensemble combines multiple models harnessing their strengths to improve accuracy and reduce overfitting. It boosts health prediction performance by aggregating outputs from various algorithms yielding a robust and reliable outcome. The next algorithm used is Multi-Layer Perceptron MLP. MLP, a neural network model, captures complex relationships within patient data. It excels in recognizing intricate patterns, enhancing health prediction accuracy through its ability to model non-linear interactions. The last algorithm is Gradient Boosting. Gradient Boosting iteratively iteratively refines predictions by combining weak models. It effectively handles complex data and boosts predictive power by focusing on challenging cases, contributing to robust health condition assessments. To execute this project, we have designed the following modules. The first module is IBM Cloud. This module utilizes IBM Cloud for machine learning algorithm storage and execution. Patient vitals from mobile, mobile are sent to the cloud for algorithm-based health condition detection. Due to cost constraints, a simulated cloud runs on a local network. SMS alerts to doctors are omitted due to expense. The second module is Dataset module. This module facilitates dataset uploading to the simulated cloud environment. The third module is Preprocess module. This module converts missing or alphabetical data to numeric for machine learning readiness. The next module is Machine Learning module. This module trains dataset using diverse algorithms gauges their performance and selects the best performing model for patient condition prediction. The last module is mobile or client mo module. Absence of sensors leads to test data upload from client application. Patient vitals are sent to the simulated cloud where machine learning algorithms predict health condition and results are relayed back to the client.
execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder. So here, to develop this project, we have designed two applications, cloud application and client application. This is the cloud application folder and this is client application folder. So in cloud application, we can upload data set and then pre-process data set and apply machine learning to build train model. This application accepts vitals from client or mobile application and then applies machine learning algorithms to predict patient condition and send predicted value back to client application. And in client application, we will upload file which contains patient vitals and send these vitals to cloud application and get results back. So now open cloud application folder. So here we can see a dataset folder in which I have healthcare dataset. So in this dataset, we can see the first row contains dataset attribute names and all integer values are vitals of patient and last column contains zero or one. Where zero means patient condition is stable and one means patient condition is abnormal. Close this dataset and this is the Python main code file and this is test document in which we will have test data without the class label. This is the run.bat file. And in client folder, we have a dataset folder in which I have users dataset on which we will predict the patient condition. And this is the Python main code file and I have a run.bat file in this folder also. So instead of executing the project in command and interface, we have created this Windows batch file. So double click on run.bat file in cloud application folder. This graphical user interface will be open. With this, we are interacting with the program. We have used Tikinter library to create this graphical user interface. Now click on upload healthcare dataset and preprocess button. So a dialog box opens from cloud folder select healthcare dataset and click on open and we can see a confirmation that the dataset is loaded and there are 303 records in the data and this 303 records are divided into train and test sets in the ratio of 80 to 20 and after splitting now train set includes 242 records and test set includes 61 records now click on run svm algorithm button so we can see the performance metrics of svm algorithm in the text area similarly click on run knn algorithm and we can see the performance metrics. Now click on run Nibase algorithm. Now click on decision tree algorithm. Click on logistic regression algorithm button. So these are the performance metrics. Now click on random forest algorithm. Click on run MLP algorithm button. So we can see the precision recall F measure and accuracy of multi-layer perceptron here. And now click on run gradient boosting algorithm button. And now click on run ensemble algorithm button. Now click on precision graph button. So in this graph on X axis, I have the algorithm names we have built and on Y axis, I have the precision and we can see Lo uh, logistic regression has got the and logistic regression and neighbors has got the highest precision close this graph and now click on recall graph button on the x-axis i have the algorithm names and on y-axis i have the recall and we can see naibase has got the highest recall close this graph and now click on f score graph button so we can see Naibase has got the highest F score. Close this and now click on accuracy graph button. So Naibase is again doing well. So we can say that Naibase has outperformed all other algorithms. Now click on start cloud server button. So we can see a confirmation that server started and waiting for incoming connections. Now double click on run.bat file in mobile client folder. This graphical user interface will be open. Click on upload files button. A dialog box will be open. So from, from client application folder, 
select users document and click on open so we can see for every record we have predicted the patient condition if he is normal or abnormal the conclusion here is this project developed a machine learning driven health prediction system that uses a variety of algorithms to forecast patient vitals based health conditions despite using a simulated cloud environment the system showed promising accuracy we, uh, we have observed that nibase has outperformed other algorithms in this particular project this project demonstrates the potential of integrating technology into healthcare for prompt anomaly detection and alerts to medical practitioners improving patient care and safety thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.